day everyone, it's Vicky Wright, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, Fraser Coast, Australia. Um, I just thought I'd share with you one of the cards we created in our class yesterday. Um, a couple of the ladies had requested that we do a class on the Country Floral Dynamic Embossing Folder, which was part of Celebration. Um, that's it there. Um, so I thought... Um, yesterday was the perfect day and they did mind that it has retired so this is the card we're going to be creating um, not much stamping on it but the beauty is um, it's using one of the soon to be retired in colors of um, powder pink okay so let's get going so what we're going to do is we all the instructions and PDF tutorial along with um, measurements, period and metric can be found on my blog. So to begin with, what I did, I grabbed a small piece of um, powder pink cardstock and I run it through the big shot using the country floral dynamic embossing folder then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our powder pink um, ink pad and we're just going to slightly and very gentle rub the ink over the raised section of the card and you can come back mine's drying out very fast got a lot of use yesterday you can come back and just highlight different areas if you want to until you're happy with it and I think I'm I don't want it too much and don't press down too hard because you don't want it to go on to you only want it to go on to the raised areas and that'll do me okay so that's it there once you're happy with that, I am then going to grab some Tombow and I'm going to adhere it to a piece of Whisper White like that. Now I only leave a very, very one eighth of an inch around my layers but you can use as much as you like or have them as wide as you like then what we're going to do we've got a piece of night and navy and another bigger piece of the powder pink we're then going to adhere the night and navy to the powder pink and again i've only left a slight border like that again gonna grab our base card which is the whisper white thick whisper white and we're gonna layer that this onto the thick whisper white just like that now oops in this case, I've left a quarter, about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit less, around the outside of the Whisper White showing. Um, now, before we... Sorry about that, I thought I had the tear and tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap that around onto my card like that and I'm just going to grab a piece of tape if I can find it that like that That's going to be like that. And oops, 
sorry, I thought I had all this. I'm then going to pop it up with dimensionals. I'll use that piece too. Put one in the middle and that'll do me. Take off the little lids. Lots of little lids. It's a very simple card with one stamp, but sometimes they turn out the best. Then all I'm going to do is adhere that down to the middle like that and just press lightly so that's nice and firm. Then I'm going to bring in our Knight of Navy ink pad. The sentiment I've used is from Botanical Bliss. Um, and it's best wishes. I just like the font and it's just a cute little set. Um, I've already cut um, our circle using the smallest die in from the stitched shapes framelits. So all I'm going to do then is just press, can you see that? Press down. And up, yep, happy with that. I'm going to punch a circle from a scrap piece of Knight of Navy, and I'm using the one and a half inch punch. That is then going to be adhered to the stitched. Whisper white circle, just like that. Pop that up with a couple of dimensionals. Just so. And we might just put that at a slight angle. I don't put it right up there. I like it about there. That looks pretty good to me. Um, on my original card... I've tied a small bow, but I think we might do something a little bit different this time and we might just go for just a knot, just to be different. And I'm just going to grab my scissors, trim it off a little bit. That's it. Happy with that. And then we're going to come in with a couple of clear rhinestones. And I haven't got a tool with me, but that's all right. I don't know where. I'll put one just little devils, sticky little devils they are. One just there. I might put one about there and we might put one about there and that is my card very simple very easy very quick but one with a bit of a wow don't forget to you can do this with all your embossing folders it just doesn't have to be a floral one or this particular one Okay, thanks for that, and I'll see you next time. See ya. All right.